Hello readers. Do you know someone who likes to play practical jokes on other people and sometimes they go very wrong? Well that is what our poem is about today. It's an Australian bush poem and it's a really funny poem and it's been made into a picture book so the images are amazing. You're really gonna love it. The Man from Ironbark by A.B. Patterson, also known as Banjo Patterson. These images are created by Quentin Hole and read by Hello Readers. Published by Columns. It was the man from Ironbark who struck the Sydney town. He wandered over street and park He wandered up and down. He loitered here, he loitered there, till he was like to drop. Until at last, in sheer despair, he sought a barber's shop. Ear, shave my beard and whiskers off. I'll be a man of mark. I'll go and do the Sydney toff. Up home in Ironbark. The barber man was small and flash, as barbers mostly are. He wore a strike your fancy sash. He smoked a huge cigar. He was a humorist of note <laughs> and keen at repartee. He laid the odds and kept a tote, whatever that may be. And when he saw our friend arrive, he whispered, Here's a lark! Just watch me catch him all alive, this man from Ironbark! There were some gilded youths that sat along the barber's wall. Their eyes were dull, their heads were flat, they had no brains at all. To them the barber passed the wink, his dexter eyelid shut. I'll make this blooming yokel think his blooming throat is cut. <laughs> and as he soaped and rubbed it in, he made a rude remark. Suppose the flats is pretty green up there in Ironbark. A grunt was all reply he got. He shaved the bushman's chin, then made the water boiling hot and dipped his razor in. He raised his hand, his brow grew black, he paused a while to gloat, then slashed the red hot razor back across the victim's throat. Upon the newly shaven skin it made a livid mark. No doubt it fairly took him in, the man from Ironbark. He fetched a wild up country yell, might wake the dead to hear. And though his throat he knew full well was cut from ear to ear, he struggled gamely to his feet and faced the murderous foe. You've done for me, you dog, I'm beat. One hit before I go. I only wish I had a knife, you blessed murdering shark. But you'll remember all your life, the man from Ironbark. He lifted up his hairy paw with one tremendous clout. He landed on the barber's jaw and knocked the barber out. 
He set to work with tooth and nail. He made the place a wreck. He grabbed the nearest gilded youth and tried to break his neck. And all the while his throat he held to save his vital spark. And murder! Bloody murder! Yelled the man from Iron Bark. A peeler man who heard the din came in to see the show. He tried to run the bushman in, but he refused to go. And when at last the barber spoke and said, "'Twas all in fun. "'Twas just a little harmless joke. "'Ah, trifle overdone. "'A joke, he cried. "'By George, that's fine. "'A lively sort of lark. "'I'd like to catch that murdering swine "'some night in iron bark. "'Now, while round the shearing floor "'the listening shearers gape, "'he tells the story o'er and o'er "'and brags of his escape. Them barber chaps, what keeps a tote? By George, I've had enough. One tried to cut me blooming throat, but thank the Lord it's tough. And whether it's believed or no, there's one thing to remark. That flowing beards are all the go up in iron bark.